Many classes at CCP have a lab component, and many times you need to register for both the lecture and the lab as separate classes, but at the same time. So this video is going to show you how to do this. In this example, I'm going to try to register for a chemistry class that has a lecture and a lab, but this process will work for any class at CCP that has a lecture and a lab listed as separate sections. Once I click my search button and the many different sections appear, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between a lecture and a lab before showing you how to register for them both. There are two ways to determine the lecture and the lab, and the first is in the title column. In this example, the classes that say distance education are the lectures, and the classes that say the labs are the labs. You can also tell the difference in the hours column, and the lectures in this case are listed as the classes with four hours or credits, and the labs with, this, with zero hours or credits. But don't let the zero hours or credits fool you. You do need the lab component as part of the entire class experience. In order to sort out which lectures and labs go together, I recommend clicking the View Linked button on the right-hand side of the screen. I'll show you why. At first glance, it may appear I can select any lecture or any lab. Let's say I want this lecture at the very top, but I'd like to go in person to a lab, and so I'm looking for this lab. If I click the view linked next to the lecture, only one lab shows up. That means for that particular lecture, I can only take this lab. And this is the, not the one that was on campus that I wanted. So I'm going to go back to my search results. And in order to find the class with the lab that I wanted, I'm going to go to view linked on that line. And it will show me that both this lecture and this lecture can go along with the lab that I'm interested in. So let's say I'm going to add, I want this first lecture. I will click the add all button toward the top right of the particular class. And now you can see that both the lecture and the lab appeared in my summary box. If I click Submit, they'll both get added at the same time. If I try to register for one and not the other, I'll get an error message that says linked course required. And that's because I need to register for both the lecture and the lab at the same time. One important point is that very often the lecture instructor is different from the lab instructor. You can see that in this example. If I go back to this lab class that I'm interested in, I can see the professor here. And when I go to my view linked, I can see that the lecture instructor is different. This is normal and this is common and it does not mean that there is a problem with your registration. As long as you click View Linked, you click the class that you would like, and then you click Submit, you should be able to register.